won't double, but they might go up enough to grab your attention. In a city that prides itself on things uniquely San Franciscan, leaders are trying to get out front on a concept that fits right in with local identity, 100% renewable energy for San Francisco. It's California certified renewable energy. It's some of the cleanest energy available in California. But green energy does come at a premium cost. It's a premium product, and so customers will have to pay a little more. This is Charles Sheehan, a spokesperson for Clean Power SF, the city group behind a deal with Shell Oil. Sheehan says rates would rise for customers under an agreement with Shell, but they wouldn't double. Almost a doubling of the electric generation rate. So it's not what I think, it's what the PUC has told its rate fairness board. Hunter Stern represents the IBW Workers Union. The folks behind this Stop the Shell Shock campaign who contend the rates could double, and here's their proof. A recent presentation by the Public Utilities Commission that projects generation rates going from 0.078 cents a kilowatt hour to 0.15 cents. That's a fancy way of saying the generation rates would almost exactly double, and the numbers are accurate, but they don't tell the whole story. There are many line items on your current electricity bill. We're only changing the generation line item because we're switching to a 100% renewable energy supply. If you factor in the cost for transmission, distribution, and billing, which will remain the same under the deal, and in the hands of longtime provider PG&E, the rate jump is far less than double, but it's still sizable, depending upon how much energy you use. According to Clean Power SF's own data, the most typical customers, Tier 1 and Tier 2, will see increases of $10 and $21 a month, respectively. Now, on a percentage basis, that means those customers will be paying between 55 and 47 percent more after a new deal than they would right now. While that might not be double the rate, it's a healthy enough increase for about 90,000 San Franciscans that groups like IBW are trying to spread the word. Everybody should disclose the, all the information, all the facts. And the, the main fact that's not disclosed so far is that this is a contract with Shell Energy for up to five years. Clean Power SF says there's currently some awareness among city residents about a possible deal with Shell, but they'll be ramping up the information campaign if, in fact, it's finalized. Now, those eligible will be automatically enrolled into the program, but they do have the option to opt out without a fee. So the bottom line here is you'll pay a premium for renewable energy, maybe not double, but certainly a nice uptick. The claim is mostly false. I'm Sam Brock, and that is today's Reality Check. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Sam.